Okay, so it's Thursday, March 9th, and we are in Grand Key in the Abaco chain of islands. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty remote here. We're pretty far from the Madding crowd. Uh, the, um, uh, the weather has been interesting. It's been dry and sunny the whole time for our first week here. It, it's rained only very rarely. Uh, the challenge has been the wind. There have been strong winds basically every every 48 hours or at most every 72 hours and from different directions. And for this reason we haven't really been free to follow whatever uh, course we would have chosen for ourselves. We have to keep running from one bolt hole to protect us from northeast winds to another bolt hole that protects us from westerly winds to another bolt hole for protection from the southwest. Or, and so it's uh, we're feeling a, just a little bit hunted. This is a little bit typical for earlier in the season, December, January, February. This is fairly typical for this part of the Bahamas. Um, we originally weren't going to come here first when we thought we were going to be that early uh, of an arrival, but because of boat projects and different delays, we ended up not getting here till March. So we thought that this weather wouldn't affect us. Unfortunately, um, it has been that cold front cycle. Uh, it looks like though um, in the next week or so it should probably end and the weather should um, be a little bit more still through hopefully April and, and uh, of course May. That's right. Hopefully it's going to settle down uh, sometime next week and we'll be free to go to the places we specifically want to go and we'll be able to just relax there instead of constantly planning the next, the next uh, flight. Um, Let's see, uh, we went into town today at Grand Key. We got some diesel at 10 bucks a gallon. Oh. Well, this is the most northwestern outpost of the Bahamas. There's one last key up here before it all ends. That's right. And so, so we are pretty far out. Behind us, uh, there's the, uh, uh, I'll include a separate clip. Behind us, there's uh, the Atlantic Ocean. There's, that's the edge of the Bahamian Shelf and the waves come crashing in from the Atlantic. We're protected from that, the boat's that way. Uh, so we're not, we're not worried about that too much. Um, but yeah, like Dan says, we're at the northwest corner, uh, basically of the Bahamas, and that kind of pushes the prices up. The people have been really nice, uh, really uh, friendly and helpful. Uh, well, $4 we, dollars for a loaf of bread, I mean, <laughs> it was homemade bread. Homemade bread. Yeah. You can pay $4 for artisanal bread at Whole Foods easily. Um, and more. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, it is it's been very pretty. The places we've been have been quite pretty. Um, this is one of the prettiest beaches we've seen so far. Uh, Wells Beach, I think, on on Grand Key. Yeah, this is actually a private island, but I don't think anyone's on here built anything as of yet. They had a really bad hurricane a few years ago. Um, you can still see ruins of construction projects and. Um, they're still getting back on their feet, so we'll see what happens in the next few years for this part of the country. Yeah, so um, anyway, everything on the boat seems fine. We're using the tender a lot. Um, it's running well. Uh, the solar power is doing just okay because in these strong winds, uh, uh, you know, you can't be too picky about the way the boat lies. The boat's going to lie the way the boat's going to lie, and so... What that tends to mean is you, you, don't, you don't end up facing the best possible direction for solar power, but we're doing fine. Um, uh, we've been using the water maker. Uh, that's working well as far as we can tell. We've got a Rainman water maker. Um, yeah, so it's, it's going well. We, just, we would just be grateful if the weather would stop chasing us about so that we could just relax and enjoy it all a bit more. So yeah, next we're headed back to a place that we were at about three or four days ago to shelter from the wind coming up or coming down for this next cold front. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah we've got kind of a bummer. It is, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, but... but we still have lots of time and, you know, the plan is to come back down next year as well. So that's this right. is a huge country with land, well, island-wise, yeah. with 660, I think, islands and, um, you know, maybe only three or 400,000 people. Um, and it's, some of these settlements are really cool. I mean, they're just like in the middle of nowhere. They have to make their own water. Um, they have to basically cook with propane. Um, 
know, everything comes in by boat. Yep. Um, there's a few private um, airstrips which don't have any sort of advanced uh, control or landing instrumentation. No, no. <laughs> it's just Cessna caravans no. um, that come in maybe once a day or something. So it's uh, pretty wild and, and remote. And like we're on a beach today and nobody's... This is yeah, like, there's nobody here on this beach that's like two miles long. Anyway, that's an update. We've been here a week. That's how things are looking. Um, more later.